Yes guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. Nice energetic start to this video. Hope you're all doing super well. If you are wanting a hair system, I said check out, I said checking out a system. If you are wanting a new system, do check out newlacecu.com. They've got a really wide selection of lace, poly and monofilament if that's your thing. This one is a lace. So if you like the look of it, if you like the invisible hairline, do check out their website. Today's video is gonna focus on taping a system. So it's gonna be a demo. I do it slightly differently to most people and this is why I wanted to make this video. I'm gonna go through it with you step by step and hopefully you'll find it helpful and you may even start doing this yourself. But the reason I do it this way is because it really improves the hold of the system. So without further ado, let's get on with the demo. So as you can see, here is my lace base on this mannequin, uh, which I call Kenneth, because he just looks kind of stern. And I see Kenneth as quite a stern name. No offense to any Kenneths out there. Um, I've also, I always do this. I always put little sort of thumbtacks into the lace. It doesn't ruin the lace. I've seen people say it ruins the, it ruins the lace, it ruins the poly. No, it doesn't. It's actually a great thing to use to basically hold your system base in place whilst you are basically either cutting the base or sort of applying tape or glue or whatever. It's just a really super handy thing to do. So I do highly recommend sort of always just whacking sort of a couple of thumbnails in there onto your mannequin head, if you've got a mannequin head. Um, this is polystyrene as well, so it sticks in really, really well. I know that you can get sort of plastic mannequin heads as well, which are just as good. In fact, I think plastic mannequin heads, if you can get the thumbnails in, they'll probably hold it better. But uh, anyway, let's get on with it. So what I always start with, I tend to start at the back. So this is the back of my system. I actually cut the base myself. Um, just by using the template um, that always comes in my systems. I just basically put the template on top, measure the actual uh, ball bit on my scalp and just sort of cut around that. I will do another video about that because there's not actually that many on YouTube at the moment. So I always start with the strips because they can kind of pull like so. Like you can pull them sort of off and it, it's actually a really good way to start with the system uh, as, as in when applying tape because with this with the with the standard tape you kind of put it onto a lace and then it just doesn't stick uh, which is super frustrating which is why i find starting with the strips the, remember these are Pro, proflex 2 ones they're really good they're um they're basically f like pharmaceutical grade hypoallergenic they're a really good tape. The hold is pretty decent as well. So I do recommend them, especially for people who are looking for a good hold, but also might have sort of quite sensitive skin. What I always do is I cut the edges. Every single edge of a piece of tape that I get, I cut. So it kind of looks like this. It's a subtle cut. It's a very, very subtle cut. Sometimes I cut it a little bit more so I'll just trim those edges so it just gives you that sort of very subtle U-shape. And there's a reason for this. Basically, most of the system, when it's based around the balding bit of your head, is going to be sort of curved, like so. So if you're basically just using flat strips of tape, like so, you're not gonna get very far out of it. You're not gonna get very long. There's not very long strips where it's literally just sh a straight line, which is why when you do it like a U, you can pretty much use the whole thing and get a lot longer out of it. So, and obviously that means that you sort of get through more tape. So you pull the bottom part off and then with these strips, I think Ultra Hold do their own tabs as well. Tab strips, basically the same thing. If you just whack it on there, I can put the whole thing on there, number one. If I just had it in a straight line, I'd probably get about that much out of the tape and then I have to do it all over again, all over again. And it just takes so much longer. It's really super laborious. So now I've got the tape attached to the system. 
Now it's kind of good to just push it down like so. Leave it for a couple of seconds and then just pull one half the strip away like so. And as you can see, it's stuck, stuck to the lace. Okay. As I said, with this, when you try and do it without these little strips, and I always just use one strip to start. I don't need more than that. I only use, I only use one of these and 72 of them. So it lasts a heck of a long time. Then from there, you can sort of build. So you'll probably notice as well that on your scissors, it gets a bit sticky. So sort of every 10 minutes or so, I just sort of take off all of the sort of tapey residue on the, uh, on the scissors, just to stop it from all getting clogged up. So now we've got our foundation here. What I tend to do is now just use the roll of tape and I always analyze sort of how long or how short I need to make it. And again, exactly the same thing. It's so simple, guys. Every single time you just do this, it'll save you so much effort. So as you can see, back to that very, very subtle U shape. And again, just connect it, connect it to that strip of tape, which is exposed. And look, just like that, it comes off. And also thanks to having these thumbnails, thumbtacks in, it just sort of encourages everything just to sort of stay in place. And it's literally just a question of continuing, continuing like this. And it's just a question of sort of continuing like this. So just sort of progressively turning the mannequin head around, just following the exposed tape until you get to around here, which is where the sort of frontal hairline begins on the other side. And if you want to wear tape on the front, you know, that's fine. It tends to look better if you have a glue adhesive at the front, if you want to expose your hairline, it does tend to last longer. But I know a lot of people who just wear tape at the front and they get on fine with it. So what I'm going to do now is basically administer the rest of the tape. Uh, it might take quite a long time. So I'm basically going to uh, skip this part of the video and I will join you towards the end when we're going to have a finished product. Okay guys, so as you can see, I call it the horseshoe, it's sort of like the horseshoe tape formation. So I've got it all around the edges. What I always do on the front is I apply just like a white adhesive, uh, ghost bond, great white, they're both pretty good. I tend to avoid the, the sort of more heavy duty ones. But what I forgot to mention, and this is super, super important. And remember, this is only the way I do it. This isn't the way it's done. This isn't the way everyone does it. This is just the way I find it to be most effective. The way, the way I find I get the best hold. It works for me, it might, might not work for you, but my hairstylist recommended it to me and it served me really, really well. So I will show you that as well. Basically, when you look down the middle, we've got nothing there holding the system to our head. And it can feel kind of weird when we feel the middle of our head, or we pull the hair up and we're like, <laughs> a couple of things gone. Number one, it reminds you that you're wearing a system and that's like, oh yeah. And number two, it's probably just something that goes on in my mind that thinks, geez, what if someone like grabs it there and it just, they pull up that part of my hair and they're like, hold on a minute, this isn't connected to your head. So ever since then, I've always basically done a line down there and a line across. It's really helpful as well if, you know, you're in bed with your other half and, you know, you're going at it and uh, she just grabs your hair and wants to sort of pull it around. It really helps sort of hold it in place. So I'll show you that as well. Uh, what I also want to mention is, look at that. It gets so, so it, sorry, it's that one. It gets so, so sticky. But yeah, what I always do to sort of keep the scissors working, shall we say, to stop them from seizing up. No, I don't use WD-40, although that probably wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I use isopropyl alcohol. And what you do, just give it a little scrub, 
like so. Nice little scrub, just like that. And it sort of acts as a lubricant. It just sort of gets rid of all of that mess, all of that mess that sort of builds up from tape that you've cut and makes it super sticky. So just keep on top of that. See, it works fine. So let's go with the tape at the end where, as I said, I've just sort of put it down the middle and then across the side, right? So take a strip of tape like so. You wanna make sure that it meets the tape at the bottom, otherwise it won't stick to the base. So I'm just measuring it out. Make sure we've got enough length on that. That's long enough. You may have noticed also, when I sped everything up, I fucked up a little bit. <laughs> so you may have noticed that, whereby some of the tape actually raised off the base and I had to start again. It does happen, guys, even to the most experienced of us, but it doesn't take too much time to get back to where you were. I think I lost about five minutes on the job. So you press that down, make sure it's fully connected with the base. I usually press it down for about five seconds. Five seconds, seconds, or just build that hold. And always, always, if you pull it up from this side, so from this side here, see? Your hands can get stuck to this stuff. So you pull it from this side here, it's pretty likely that it's just gonna lift off again. If you pull it from here, because the, the bond is already built around this bottom bit of the base, it's much easier. Much, much, much easier. Especially if you don't bite your nails like I do. There you go. It just sticks nicely to the base. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna go from side to side. So again as well, you wanna make sure that you're crossing this bit here, okay? Because you want the bond to be as firm as possible. So let's measure from side to side. Some people use a tape measure for this, but I don't really bother with that. I just use my eyes. So just go from there to about there. Yes, okay, so that's roughly just about long enough. Make sure you're touching all bits of the tape. Hey, presto. Again, just press it down. You can see there, it's right across the middle, touching all, sort of both sides, and then touching the middle tape as well, really helps that bond. Okay. And then you literally just pull it up. God, I wish I didn't bite my nails. It'd make things so much easier. Just like that. And it can help to sort of pull down on the hair on the side just to make sure that bond is super, super solid. Just be so gentle with it. So, so, so gentle. Okay, so there we go. It really is that easy. I think from start to finish, it took me about 15 minutes. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bond it up and I will attach glue to the side. Remember, please, please, please do not attach glue to a lace base. Attach it to your scalp, let it dry, and then bond. So guys, there you have it. Full bond, adhesive at the front, nice color blend at the sides. Always takes me about sort of five minutes to bond the tape to my scalp. I always do it from front to back. I usually make sort of like a little white mark so I can sort of know, <clears throat> have a reference point as to where I'm gonna place the front and I just sort of push it back from there. Hold it down on my head for about 30 seconds. That really improves the bond. Don't forget to always swab alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, 70% plus on your scalp before you actually 
bond the, the tape and the base to your scalp because otherwise sort of things like bacteria and fungi and all of this kind of stuff uh, can build up and sort of lessen or weaken that bond so please don't forget to do that I hope you found this really helpful guys please do check out my channel uh, please do subscribe uh, check out my other videos the system where I'm wearing right now is a new lace CU system uh, so please do check out their website newlacecu.com I will put their details in the description box below plus the actual system that I'm wearing please do check them out I'll see you soon guys I hope you found this video super helpful take care till next time